Here's a brief video discussion on how you solve work rate problems. Now a work rate problem is a problem where you have more than one um, entity, more than one person, or more than one process, or a device that works towards a goal and they work at different rates and you want to figure out how long does it take the overall job to be done. So as an example, let's use um, uh, let's use this problem here where let's say Katie can mow a lawn in two hours and Lynn can mow the lawn, the same lawn, in three hours. How long will it take if they work together? Now the model for this particular kind of question is um, uh, basically is rate times time equals the, the amount of work done. So if you do something, let's say if you can uh, let's say you're eating a bowl of soup and you take five bites per minute and you're going to then, that's your rate, and you're going to do that for 10 minutes, you're going to be taking 50 bites. Okay, and so this is the, the basic um, equation. Now we don't have a rate for anybody here and so we have to establish what the rate is and that's really where the kind of the tricky part of these kinds of problems come in. So we're going to say that, a, that the rate is the work done divided by the time. So if we look at Katie's rate, she does one job in two hours. So her rate is one half a job per hour. Now Lynn's rate is a little different. She does one job in three hours, so her rate is slower. It's one third of a job per hour. And so we're going to use, um, let's say we're going to define time, T, as the time that they work together. Even though they're working at different rates, when they're done with the lawn, they're going to stop mowing. And so if we put together our, our model, we say, okay, Katie's work is one-half is her rate times time. Lynn's work is one-third, that's her rate times time, the same amount of time, and that equals one job. So these kinds of problems, if you're just doing a single task, that uh, right side of the equation here is just simply a one, one job. So she's doing one-third of a job per hour, and this is how many hours they're working She's doing one half the job per hour, and that's how much um, time uh, each of them are working. So then, here we have one third t plus one, or one half t plus one third t equals one, and so this is an equation that we can solve just the way it is. One way that we can do it is we can take both sides and multiply it by the uh, common denominator, which is two times three, and so when we multiply 2 times 3 times 1 half you actually get 3 so the first expression is the first part of this equation is 3t and then we're going to take 2 times 3 times 1 third and the 3's cancel so we get 2t now we have 1 times 2 times 3 and that equals 6 and so here we have this nice tidy integer equation 3t plus 2t equals 6 and so we add those together we get 5t equals 6 and so the amount of time that it takes is six-fifths of an hour. Now a fifth of an hour, if you take 60 divided by 5, that's going to be 12 minutes is a, is a fifth of an hour. So we're going to be working, or they're going to be working together at one hour and, and 12 minutes. So you answer the job with a complete sentence, and you get they can do the job together in one hour, 12 minutes. Now for the purposes of this class, if you answer this as t equals six-fifths of an hour, that's perfectly fine. Okay, the, the units of time, uh, the answers that I'm looking for, uh, really integer ratios are, are exact, they're unambiguous, and so we can just stop there. We don't have to worry about um, you know, converting it into a decimal or hours and minutes and, and that sort of thing. So that should be adequate.